Next question is from Tyler Cortez. Are wrist wraps helpful long-term or more detrimental? We used to debate this a lot in the beginning. I think for the average person, detrimental. Um, I I could see value in advanced bodybuilders and lifters who know how to use them. That's a good way to put it, I think. Yeah, but I think the average person, what, what they do is, first off, they disengage the grip. So you're not strength. And by the way, your your grip should be able to support pretty much any lift you do. This is one of the strongest parts uh, of the human body is your ability to hold on to things. I mean, we, we evolved. We're primates, for goodness sake. So this is very strong. But you're going to make your hands not strong enough to support your exercises if you're constantly using something that helps you hold on to the bar. Right. And studies show that wrist wraps or straps or whatever you call them, the things that you, you go around your wrist and go around the bar, change recruitment patterns all the way up to the shoulder. Changes the way you fire your muscles yes. to, to accomplish that task. And I think that people don't realize that. It just, you naturally, wow, this feels a lot easier. And I feel like I can um, you know, really get a, a better hold and a better grasp on more weight. But uh, it doesn't translate then after not having wrist straps on. Yes. So now all of a sudden, I feel like I can do that 80-pound dumbbell, no problem. But guess what? Now there's a big uh, weak link in, in, in that that chain that goes all the way up, you know, into your arm. So now early on in the podcast, uh, I, I used to debate you guys a little bit on this. It's not because I don't, I don't disagree with everything you just said. Cause I do agree a hundred percent agree. But then at the same time too, you might catch me using wrist wraps. Yeah, well, you were, you were competing, you were bodybuilding. Right. And, yeah. and I think that way, and that's why the way you started it, I think is, I think over time we've refined how we, we present this message. Yeah. And I think that's a perfect way to say it. It's like for the most, for the most people and the at general population, it's, it's going to hinder them. It's not ideal for them at all. And you should avoid it at all costs. But for an advanced lifter who has very specific goals and has got a great developed physique, I, there's some application for it. And there's been plenty of times in my career where I've pulled them out to use them because I'm I don't want my forearms to be the limiting factor. Like, and I, even though yes, practicing with the grip would be better for my grip, but I'm a bodybuilder. I'm trying to get my rear delt at that at that right. moment to fire. I don't care if my forearms aren't firing or getting developed at that moment. I'm trying to develop a very specific thing, and I don't want anything else to get in the way of that. And so there's times when there's some application, but talking to the general population. Uh, and and by the way, I haven't used wrist, wrap, wrist wraps in a couple of years Well, now. you're not bodybuilding. Yeah, anymore. I don't care right now. Yeah. Right now, I'm not like into the body sculpting thing right now. I'm just training to be healthy and fit. And because of that, if I can't hold on to something that's over 350 pounds, I don't deadlift it because yeah. so it, does, it doesn't matter to me anymore. Yeah, here's the places I'd say that were probably... It, where, where people will use it, right? So uh, high-level bodybuilders who are doing these high-volume workouts, you know, they're doing 20 sets for back and they're already really well-developed and they know how to isolate and squeeze and they get plenty of hand and grip work and everything else that they do. Strongman competitors use wrist wraps often because the competitions allow them to sometimes. Right. So you'll often see them do these lifts. Those power lifters. Yeah. Power lifters don't use them because power lifters have to use their grip. Well, yeah, competitive power lifters, yeah. yeah but the, uh, you see your weekend warrior guys doing all Yes, time. yes. Uh, that's a big problem. It's an ego lift for yeah. those ones, I yeah. guess. Now, I use them rarely, but here's when I'll use them. Let's say I'm going to do a heavy, stiff-legged deadlift. I'm not, I'm not working my upper body. I'm trying to work my hamstrings. So, and I have 400 pounds on the bar and I already did a conventional deadlift early in the week. What I'm trying to do there is actually use my arms less. Well, that that's my rear delt example. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are trying, you are trying to isolate, even though it's impossible to isolate a muscle, but you're trying to put as much emphasis on your hamstrings. Yeah. And what you don't want is your forearms to limit you. Yes. Or overtrain and, my forearms. Right. And because you're an advanced lifter who has got a balanced physique and has strong forearms, then to me, it makes sense. And that's how I felt when we used to talk about this early in the podcast, you guys used to give me shit all the time. And I'd be like, well, listen, yeah. I'm, I, I feel like I can defend why I use it because I don't use it all the time, but then there have been specific moments. But when we're talking to the general population, I think yeah, most well, people I just should always avoid it. caution because either way you look at it, you're going to cause dysfunction. And that's just something that you're going to have to work your way back and you're going to have to repair. And eventually it's going to sneak up and bite you in the ass. So if you are competitive with it, there's a window for that. Sure. Yep. Um, well, but you have to ask yourself too, what's a lesser evil? Someone to do an over uh, over under grip on a deadlift or a wrist wrapped deadlift? It depends who it is. Most people, I would say, you use your switcher over under back and forth. Yeah. Which yeah. nobody grip. does, right? Unless yeah. you're us. Yes, or you're, t- yeah. but, <laughs> who, or you're who, who have you seen? Who have you seen? Right, the whole yeah. time. A lot of people do yeah. uh, over under and to go max lift, and I would ma- it going. And I used to. Okay, I'm guilty of this, but looking back now, I actually 
probably should I would have rather because the, the issues that I have are shoulder and upper it's back because you stuff. always kept the same hands that's right so did I. that's right yeah. and so since I'm not switching back and forth which most people don't I probably would have been better off of using wraps in that situation that's, this is why being. I switched to hook grip is exactly but it took me six months to get my hook grip to be able to handle the weight that I could use with a alternate grip yeah I, I've never given clients wrist straps never. either have I yeah I've never had yeah. them use them at all and and by the way bodybuilders don't care about function. That's the other thing we need to real, realize. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a factor. No, they don't care. Like, oh, great, great. It's changing the recruitment pattern in my, you know, my shoulders. Or okay, my hands can't handle the twenty sets I do for my back. I don't care. I'm yeah. going on stage, yeah, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.